Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Police have arrested two men in connection with the terror attacks last month at Brussels Airport and a metro station. They were charged with terrorist activities and terrorist murder. At least one of them rented an apartment where one of the bombers, Ibrahim al Bakrawi, may have stayed. Daesh has claimed responsibility for the attacks that killed 32 people. Rockets fired from Syria have landed in the city of Kilis, injuring eight people. Two of them are in a serious condition. On Monday, three rockets hit the city, wounding at least 12. Daesh terrorists controlled the area just across the border. Turkey's hitting Daesh positions in retaliation. A suicide bomb has killed at least four people near a football stadium in the city of Aden. Another eight were injured. It happened after a ceasefire came into effect at midnight on Sunday. There had been reports of some violations. This latest attempt to end the fighting takes place a week ahead of peace talks to be held in Kuwait. The conflicts killed more than 6,200 people. Previous ceasefires have failed, and two rounds of talks last year were unsuccessful. The Houthis are backed by Iran and have controlled the capital Sana since September 2014. Tuesday marks the 55th anniversary of the first human spaceflight. The UN decided to mark Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin's historic orbit around Earth by designating April 12th International Day of Human Space Flight. His flight lasted 108 minutes. Now some astronauts have stayed in space for more than a year. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com Istanbul.